What a piece of shit. If you have ever had to use a problem solver to take care of that pizza delivery man you thought was there for your daughter, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And guys, it gets pretty crazy down in the comments, so you're going to want to check those out. So let's get into it. What's going on, guys? Okay, if you're not familiar with that intro, then you're probably not subscribed to Grand Thumb. Great channel. Highly recommend it. Go watch a few videos. You'll understand that intro. All right. Let's talk about this piece of stupid. This is the Maverick Firearms JS 9mm. A long time ago, I did a disassembly video on this very gun, and I wasn't too thrilled with it then. Let me put this in perspective for you. A high point weighs around two pounds, something like that. This predecessor, this dollar store version of the high point weighs in at a whopping three and a half pounds you can literally bludgeon somebody with this now I don't know how much shooting I'm going to be able to do today because as you saw from that intro this gun jammed over and over wouldn't go into battery don't know what's going on with it shot it before shot fine now I couldn't find a holster for it so I had this old M12 and olive drab kind of fits but it also kind of rocks your slide back a little bit when you reholster it but anyway I want to do a few tests with it I don't know how far we're going to get with it because this gun just literally does not work so uh yeah okay you know it's got this big big slide and the trigger look it won't even ah what a piece of garbage. You hear that? Listen to that. It hits like, thump. barely hits. To be a three pound gun, you'd expect it to hit a little harder. Uh, somebody in their genius has painted this front sight with what appears to be nail polish. So, you know, if you're into that sort of thing, hey. So, Stallard Arms is another another name you might know this by like I said it's called the Maverick three and a half freaking pounds I mean it's it's every bit as dumb as it looks honestly to me it looks like a kid drew a gun but he only had a rough idea of what a gun was and that's what you come out with so uh well that's enough of me talking about this thing I mean features European style mag release eight round magazine it's kind of loose in there everything about this gun is I mean trigger feels like squeezing a sponge it's it's terrible terrible but I'm gonna shoot it to show you how terrible it is failure to go into battery failure to go into battery because it was empty. All right. It'll throw a bullet at a target. I mean, it's only a few seconds slower than a muzzle loader. But uh, I'm not going to be able to do much test with this, I can see. I'm going to try to do a grouping test. Step off about 15-ish feet. See what kind of group I can get with this thing.
get a new round. We got a small and thin piece of a aluminum is on the dust cover up here. Uh, I don't know if I drop around in here. Not really. All right, went to battery. Holy crap. I stacked that hole. I rejected it. Oh, this ain't looking promising, people. Five shots, four holes. Got two of them stacked here, one here, here in the tin ring. Yeah. So it at least shoots bullets. The rifling looks good in it. I'm not going to go over too much of the, the build of it because. I've already done disassembly of this. Uh, it appears that this extractor is part of the pro is part of the problem with it going into battery. We'll see if I can get through five rounds. Now that time. That time, it didn't cock the firing pin. Uh. Oh, it went to battery. Nice. Ho-ho! <laughs> Got through four rounds. That gives me a little bit of confidence. So I'm gonna load a magazine up here and shoot a little bit more. And then if it keeps shooting, we might even get to test the recoil. Yeah. Makes me feel ill. Now this gun was released somewhere in the 80s. A lot of bad things came out of the 80s. Yours truly included. But for all my flaws, I am not a Maverick JS 9mm. Uh, I'm going to have to go shoot a real gun after this to get all the icky off of me. Alright, we got the Titanic pistol out. I got my sophisticated recoil gauge that I've marked on this fence post. Starting here, half inch. The big lines are an inch, the little lines are half inch. Pretty simple. We're going to film it in slow motion. Try to get through five rounds so we can get an average. Apparently, if you go for the kill shot, this thing works flawlessly. All right, I think that's enough with this Rosie O'Donnell size gun. Uh, it's stupid. I wouldn't own one of those, even though I own one of those. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of that gun, and I'll catch you next time. Stay safe, and don't shoot one of those guns, America. Bang. You know, I wonder if putting it inside this case will make it jam more or less? That's a good question. Full beard manly.